it's that time of year again. Since a lot of you guys are starting school or have already started, I'm so sorry by the way. I thought I would do a fun little video to make going back to school just a little bit better. And what makes going back to school better? Than food. And that's the tea. So today we making some, trying to make, cause let's be honest, I don't know how this is gonna go. Trying to make edible school supplies. Oh my God, there's so much I wanna do. I don't know where to start. We'll start off easy. Because if you're like me and you're really lazy, y'all don't even wanna make anything. But you want food in class right now. All you need is a binder and a little pencil case thing. Hopefully it fits. So it has to fit, right? If you don't have one of these pencil things, you could also use a little plastic baggie. And then just poke the holes in. and then and close them right up and you can put your snacks in this little baggie or in here Mike and Ike or Skittles comment below which ones you like more personally I like Mike and Ike so we're just gonna open up our little box of Skittles oh no they're in another bag you see this big old box and then this is all the Skittles you're gonna get inside this is robbery I could have just bought me a regular pack of Skittles by the cash register. But no. Look at the amount of Skittles I got out of this. Walmart, this is unacceptable. All right, so we're just gonna cut that up, slide it on in, and now you got a little mini snack pack. So if you're not allowed to have snacks in class, this is perfect, because you can just put all your papers and notes on it, and when you want a Skittle, you don't have to wait a little. <laughs> you can just have it right now. <laughs> oh my God, this is actually so genius. And when you're done with Skittles, you can just reuse it, and see? You can shake this all up. Ain't no Skittles falling out today. Or you know, if you like Mike and Ike's. Oh, these didn't come in a baggie. Don't have plenty. You can just put the Mike and Ike's in here. Mmm. I like the green ones. This is literally the easiest way to sneak food into class. No one will suspect a thing. Plus, everybody will love you if you share. Man, no one ever shared Skittles with me in school. Life hack, how to make friends. Like, if you open up your binder, you got all the goods right there. Everybody's gonna want to be your friend. I don't know why I didn't do this in school. Look, I was always hungry in class. Some teachers let us eat in class, some teachers didn't. But when I was in college, everything goes. Like, you could eat in class, you can bring your Starbucks into class, you can go on your phone whenever you want. Except science. You couldn't eat in the science classes. I guess that's all I remember. All right, so next thing we're gonna make, or first thing we're gonna make, because the first one didn't really count, is edible glue. Ugh, can't even open a glue stick. So over here, we got your average everyday purple glue stick. Oh, it looks so pretty. So you're gonna roll it up all the way. All the way up. Why do I wanna use this as lipstick? <laughs> Leave a like if you guys want me to do makeup next. I low-key really wanna make this into lipstick. So we're gonna roll it all the way up. Take that bad boy and snip. Okay, so you're gonna get this little plastic piece at the bottom. You can use a toothpick or scissors or whatever to just like scrape it out. I use the toothpick and make sure it's completely clean. So when you clean it out, rinse it out with soap and water. Unless you're trying to eat glue. Don't do that. Don't eat glue. All right, so I cleaned it out. We got the glue right here. I got a nice bag of Starburst. What? These are not Starburst, these are minis. And that's exactly what it says on the front. But you know what? Your girl can't read. <laughs> so we're gonna take these all out. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. They're all reds and pinks. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. We're gonna take them and squeeze them into the glue. Oh, these actually fit pretty good. Once you get the first one in, you're gonna push it down. And then you're gonna keep putting the starburst inside the glue and pushing them all the way down. Oh, these are actually the perfect size for this. I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre effect. So we did the light pink and we're gonna put the medium pink. It's crazy how like good these go in. Like it's not even that hard to like push them in. If you have nails like me, you probably wanna use like back of your finger. All right, just a couple more. You see, this like really doesn't take that long. These are super easy to do. And think about how lit it would be just like going to class, taking out your glue stick, and just eating it. Like everybody's gonna be like, what is you doing? But you'll be the only one who knows why. Oh my God, look at this. What, this is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't even with this. And it tastes good. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Ain't nothing better than Starburst glue. It's so good. I'm gonna save this for later. Oh, bottle glue. You thought I forgot about you? So this is mostly to prank your friends. Like, hey, I bet you $20 I can eat this glue. And they'll be like, $20? Okay. And you'll be like, Pop, joke's on you. It was milk. All right, so you're gonna take this bottle of glue and dump out all of the glue. 
We gonna be here a while. So I'm gonna take this to the sink, dump it all out. You're gonna wanna clean it out with soap and water and make sure you get the cap too. Like I filled it up with soap and water and dumped it out like 10 times to give it a good old fashioned rinse in. Over here we got a nice little empty glue bottle ready to be filled with whatever I wanna fill it up with. You can even fill it up with water. <laughs> This legit and do it with milk. So I'm gonna take this bottle and carefully pour them. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Ooh. <gasps> it's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> what? Bro, what's the difference? This is the milk glue. This is the regular glue. You literally cannot tell the difference. Ain't nobody gonna know that you smuggled milk into class. We got a badass $20, you say? Mmm! Glue! You can honestly mess with this, put food coloring in it, make it whatever color you want. I want some chocolate. I want some chocolate milk glue. 2018, we out here drinking milk from a glue bottle. But honestly, there's nothing I'd rather do. <laughs> One, you will need a roll of tape, some hubba bubba bubble tape, the better kind of tape, and some pencils. Oh my god, these aren't even sharpened! But first we're gonna make the bubble tape. So regular tape. Come on, you need to get out. I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself doing this. Why is it so hard to remove? Is it not supposed to be removable? Oh no! Okay, well that broke. Can I just tape it back? <laughs> I really don't think this tape wants to be removed from here. Okay, well I got it out. But at what price? All right, I'm taping this back together. Ooh, that bubble gum smells so good. I love the smell of bubble gum. Guys, I'm so sad. This broke into like three pieces. Can it be salvaged? Yes, it can. It's not happening. At least I could just eat this gum. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had this in so long. It tastes so good. But I gotta take it out while I do the video, just cause that's like, you know, rude. So we're gonna take the pencils and take off the eraser. And should probably be careful while doing this. Sometimes they come out like clean, sometimes they don't, and you gotta like take the insides out. You know, really decapitate the pencil. Oh, I pulled that one out clean. All right, so we're gonna take our hubba bubba tape, take a little piece and just roll it up. Or you know what, now that I think about it, we could probably use a starburst too. I'll make one of each. Here's the hubba bubba tape and then we're gonna shove it right back into the pencil. And we're just gonna like shape it. And then cut off the excess and just shape it into a little eraser. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's looking legit. I found the sharpener. I sharpened my pencil. Now you got an emergency gum stash. Does it work as an eraser? I wonder. It looks like it would. Probably not. But look at it. It looks so good. Like, you can't even tell. Oh, you know, nothing weird going on here. Pencil with an eraser. That's all it is. I swear. Like, look at me doing my work. Oh, I need some gum. Delicious. Next up, we're gonna make an edible eraser. Over here, I got a real eraser. And over here, I got some fondant. You can find this in like the cake decorating section of like Walmart, Michaels, almost everywhere. So we're gonna take pink fondant. You can also do it in any color you want. <gasps> it's just like Play-Doh. I'm gonna take like half of it, roll it up into a ball, smell it. Mmm, it smells like cake. Once it's a nice ball, you're gonna wanna flatten it just a little bit. Not a lot. Just so it's the right thickness for an eraser. Then you're gonna cut it into a rectangle. And then you wanna cut the last side at an angle. And if it's a little messy, you're just gonna wanna straighten it out. Just mold it however you want. So I'm just like smoothing out the edges just cause it's a little rough from the knife. And it's stretchy so you can just like pull it, and shape it out however you want. And now you have an edible eraser. Mmm, it's so good. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys know any other food hacks, make sure you comment them below. Would you guys try any of these? Comment below and let me know which ones. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button in the face. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.